square appointments tutorial step by step hey guys welcome in this video i'm giving you a tutorial on square appointments how you can create your own booking website accept payments book appointments and much much more so let's get into it first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to squareup.com and you will land right here square appointments is provided by squarespace and it allows us to create a workspace to create a website for booking and for payments so uh, this is actually really easy to use and if you're getting started as a complete beginner then this tutorial will be very helpful for you now let's actually get into it once you get to the website you need to actually sign in or sign up for square appointments so you can sign up using your google account you just have to enter your business information and set up your own account so you will just sign in with your Squarespace website as well if you want to. Once you sign up or sign in to Square, this is where you will land. Now this is our Square appointments and this is where I'll show you how to get started with it. So uh, at the top here you can see we have appointments, overview. Now this is where I can see my overview, we are seeing our setup. Uh, get started with the payment, set up your location, create services. We have a calendar available with list, online booking services, staff, and settings. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to actually set up your own uh, availability for your website, for your appointments, and then we'll create the services. So for that, you can go to the calendar here. Once you go to calendar here, uh, we can even integrate our Google Calendar with Square Appointments. So this is our calendar here. Click on create. Okay. So uh, we will create an appointment or event type. So this is we are creating a new appointment for a client. So first, let's set the availability. For that, you're going to click on this clock here. And now it says added availability. So we have one time change or recurring schedule. So here you can see we have one time change. I have selected the days we have from Monday till Friday. If you're not available on some days, you can just simply uncheck it and the availability uh, won't be, uh, you know, uh, shown here so i am going to select from monday till friday we are available and now i can select the time so the time here says from nine till five well um we're actually available from 10 till 10 at night okay perfect so this is our uh, time and now if i want to add another entry during the day we can just click on this plus here that allows me to add another entry another available hour within a day so for us, uh, for Monday, this is going to be this. Again, open. Uh, here you will just enter whatever you want to add, whatever time. Let's say on Tuesday I'm available from 9. So I'm just going to hit 9, enter, and it will be added here. And then you can add your closing time. So you can actually add all of these times here and set the availability. And if you want to, you know, again, uh, disable any of the days you can. Let's say that I want to, you know, I also work on Saturday, then I can select it. And then we also have reset week to default. So once you select this, that means it will take you back to uh, like 9 to 5. So then we also have recurring schedule. If you feel like there is a recurring schedule, then you can go to this option and that will allow you to add and copy and paste different schedules that are recurring. For instance, if I have these recurring, uh, you know, schedule, these two, then what will happen is I can just simply go here and that will allow me to add availability that is recurring. So this is where you added the availability on square appointments. Once your availability is set, now you can create an appointment. For that, click on this create button at the top. Once you select create, it allows you to add a new event type or appointment. So here we have event type and appointment. I'm going to switch to appointment here. So here you can see event type, we have appointment class and personal event. So for us, it's appointment, but we can even go with classes and personal events. First thing is going to be adding the name of the client. Let's say this is my new client. And we can actually create a new client by going to the client section within Square Appointments. Last name, email address, then enter their phone number. And then this is where you'll select the date and time. So we're going to select the date for, let's say, today. And the time is 8 p.m. Because we are available according to our availability. Now we have appointment notes. If you want to add any notes for the client, you can add them here. Services. This is where you will add your services that you will be providing for this appointment. Click on save and your new appointment will be saved here. Click on add service and here you can add different types of services and you can even enter the amount and the duration. So for us, the duration is going to be 
two hours and then we can enter the amount and now you can see we have our appointment ready we have added the services as well let me also show you how to create a client and services separately but when you're creating an appointment you can actually create a service or a client within your appointment here so now you can see i have added the service and the amount click on save and a new appointment will be saved notification type if you want to send them notification i do want to send them notifications so we're going to go with email or if you do not want to send any notification you can just set it right here click on done and your appointment will be created now you can see i have just created an appointment using square appointments so now i have an appointment right here in my calendar if i take you to the services here this is where you create a new service we are inside service library click on create service and now you have to give your service a name let's say i'm providing haircut then you're gonna select the category so we can even create different categories for different services and add the description here once you add the description then it will be added here and we can even upload different images so this is really important because um, we need to upload sometimes the images according to that service so you can upload from here then we have location uh, where this service is available, if it's available in all of your locations, the locations that you have added or just one. And then you have to enter the price. Uh, it's according to duration or a fixed price. So we have a fixed price. I'm going to go with this. Click enter and the fee will be added here, the price. We can even add the variation for different images. Cancellation fee, duration. So the duration can be from 0 to 2 hours. So the duration is going to be two hours, add processing time, block extra time. So these are all of the different settings that you will be getting with the advanced square appointments. Then we also have the resource required. You can add variations, team members, assign it to team members, different services, and click on save. Once you click on save, your new service is created on your uh, square appointments and you'll be able to now, uh, you know, book appointments for this service that we just created. So you need to set up your availability for your website. Then you need to create clients. You can create different services and then just create appointments. It's very easy to use square appointments. You can you will be able to find all of the options here. You can see we have appointments, teams. This is where you can also add your team members. And even if it's online services, then this is very useful. You can assign tasks to different team members. We have shifts. This is where you can also add shifts for your team members, for your staff and reports so you can also get reports and stats about your business you don't need to use any third party tool when it comes to transactions and balance you will also be able to receive online payments and you can set up physical payment methods with squarespace so you can see it's an all-in-one platform that also allows you to create payrolls and invoices so you should definitely go ahead and check out square appointments um, because this is one of the platforms that you will definitely need if you have an appointment booking website so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel